what's going on my npc community today i got something today um it's a plug-in we're gonna call this one serato sample so it's just a vst um if you're able to um join the beta please do and i'm gonna go through my vst list and i'm a crap or first thing you gotta go to a vst so it's uh got to be a plug-in once you go to plug-in go to your in um uh, your plug-in folder and hit that it'll automatically go to the splash window you can find your serato you find serato and double click it and this little e button right here uh hit this button and in serato sample npc you you cannot uh, load from the uh, drag and drop screen but you can load you can press the, the load file so once I'm gonna load a file I got this test test song out do, 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 do. I got a test so uh, first thing uh, to start this thing it is a sampler and it starts on C1 so if I'm out of key it'll tell you uh, I'm out of key and shift down uh, some octaves or you want to dismiss that so I like to keep that up I never like to dismiss it so um, let's go down here and make a first slice or or to me uh, you can just press find samples and it'll find your samples and just click them so uh, every pad is can be time stretch so if I hit this pad I can time stretch it down uh, 75% so I'm going to stretch it down 32 and I can key shift it uh, 24 down 24 yeah I like that so um, right here when you have a if you have a mouse you can just use the middle scroller lock <clears throat> middle scroll and just scroll your window to your perfect size um, I like to at least throw in two, four, or eight, 16 bar loops in here. So it wouldn't be make it too difficult on the slicing. So um, I got me a little two bar loop. And these little flags right here, um, they control, they're controlled by these right here. These are your, um, your playback mode. So you got one shot where if I hit the button, it goes through. And if I have hold, it just clicks and I can let go it's just almost like a latch thing so um, what I would do in here I would just go through my slices and I would um, these flags right here you can uh, pull these out to to play just that amount of the song so if I um, or see, yeah and if I lessened it it'll just play this okay so you got that so I'm gonna keep it up here and I can time stretch that pad see that's how it can be useful in like making beats because you can like time stretch on the fly and you get your ideas out without even um, really just going through the motion of going through your sampler inside your uh, DAW of your choice and you know have to make workarounds right now um npc this is not uh out with 2.0 so um this is almost a pacifier to the situation that we're going through you, so you got a on each pad you have a filter you got a high pass and you go to the other side you got low pass okay so keep it in the middle a little low pass you got a tech uh envelope you got a tech envelope you got a release envelope and this corresponds with your playback mode so if you got it on one shot mode and you hit the button it's almost just like an ADS, ADSR type thing but if you uh, lower the release you just get clicked just like you would on a hold so um, that's a pretty good thing so remember that 
um, uh, uh, this and this is connected in some way or another. So you'll figure that out. Um, if you want to scroll through the waveform, you just left click on your mouse. Little scratching noise. So you can your slices. But how I would use it, uh, I would clear my slices, and um, I would just find the first slice, and I'll make it right there, and then I'll play it. Um, yeah, I will hold it on. So that's the second slice that doom. So I will go scroll to the next slice, and if you see the slices blue and red, I think blue. I uh, mean for low frequencies, or I think it's red. I don't know. Let me see what's this. The snares are high frequency, so it's a little red. So yeah, the kick will be a blue in the frequencies. But to me, honestly, I will, I will hopefully they will uh, make a way where you can like switch the colors because I would like to see a good waveform because this waveform is funky. I like it, but it's just got a lot of stuff going on, you know. A lot of colors kind of is a lot of distraction. So um, besides that, I would uh, go to my slice, then uh, scroll to it, and hit the hit the next pad, and that'd be my next slice. So I got two slices. Then I could just like tune it or whatever I wanted to do. Uh, right now, if you wanted to stop the waveform and like um, you know mess with it some more, you can hit this button right here, this little pencil button. And it stops the waveform, it like freezes it, so you can just, um, it's not working right now, but okay. Okay, you can freeze the waveform and pretty much go through it and uh, just make your own edits without the waveform moving. You see what I'm talking about? See, I don't, I don't have to really just go through it i can just click left and then you know my perfect little two slices or whatever okay uh we got that you can unsync it to make it sound crappy or just like the original i'm sorry all right now um the good thing about it it when you load your sample in it tells what key it is so it is a a, a you know it's a a and pretty much if you know piano chords and scales you'll know what that is and that, that'd be a very good helpful tool and an insight um i would love to see a background uh kind of almost like some red uh some bars where you can you can see how much uh you're chopping and stuff like that because if i go to another mode and set slicer i can uh set the slicer into one bar two bar four bars eight 16 etc but i think it only goes to 16 yeah so um you can chop it by halves one fourths one eighths and one sixteenths so uh by looking at that you have to scroll in to get that one sixteen look and if you go bigger you have to scroll out so you can see where your chops are so you got your chops right there and you can move up uh, down the sample by using these big arrows back around here so I can find me a, a lot of chops and just go at it and go ham so it's a, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of possibilities you can use this plugin for this plugin is very useful for everyday uh, uh, studio users and I think this would be one of those game changers and I'm definitely gonna buy this when it comes out. So this is like, I, I haven't bought a VST in a long time. So this would be the first one since machine. And um, this is great, man. You can scroll through it. See where you're at. If you wanna go up here, you can just scroll up here. Bam. Scroll up here and see all the way to the end I, I just noticed that when you scroll all the way to the end or your samples it goes to the end and like cuts them off because there's nothing more outside this area right here so that's good i like that <coughs> if they would use some kind of uh excuse me uh they use some kind of lettering i need some numbers up here i'm a nerd so i'm gonna need some numbers up here so i can see what's going on these colors got to be inverted 
uh, there gotta be an option where you can invert these colors. I mean, other than that, it's awesome. I mean, uh, it's a few little small bugs. Uh, right here, we got set random where it just sets random slices. Let's see. Let's see, I think I gotta scroll it up here. It sets random slices. Let's clear it. Set random. Come on, random button. I think you gotta scroll out. Wow. Okay, anyway, that didn't work for me. But anyway, it's still in better mode. And if you would like to purchase this thing, it's not out yet. So uh, my NPC users, this is a uh, jump on this Y before uh, 2.0 because I don't know when it's coming out, but I hope that it's coming out pretty soon because uh, this real time time stretching is a, is a big thing in the audio world, as I would say. So um, thank you for listening to this video. Um, get back with you next time and always OBS out.